This video clip will examine some sound nutrition habits. A key point is that moderation and small changes can make a big difference in, in the overall quality of your diet. So a couple um, sound eating practices are introduced on this slide. Um, consistency with variety is a good rule of thumb with nutrition, so eating um, consistent, consistent change over time or behaviors over time are more important, so it's okay to have an unhealthy uh, snack every once in a while, but it's consistency and sustained um, efforts over time that are more important. Moderation and mindfulness are really important for portion size, so you want to minimize um, the, uh, your portions and eat, eat mindfully while you're eating to avoid overeating. Um, minimizing reliance on fast food is a sound nutritional habit. We all know that uh, fast food tends to be fat food, so minimizing your, your reliance on that and just cutting back um, to you know twice a week instead of three or five times a week would be a good strategy. Uh, minimizing consumption of overly processed foods is another sound strategy. So many foods that we buy are over processed and um, all the nutrition is removed from, from the, the processing and we're left with a less healthy product. Um, so focusing on raw or natural or, 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 or unprocessed foods is a better choice. Um, cutting back on foods high in saturated fat is another key goal. So looking at better cuts of meat, um, looking at lower uh, fat content of the milk you consume um, are, are important strategies. Uh, avoiding hydrogenated fat. So a lot of um, crackers and, and snacks have hydrogenated vegetable oil which have trans fat in them and that can uh, lead to atherosclerosis and, and more problems. So reducing consumption of hydrogenated vegetable oils is an important practice. Um, choosing healthier snacks, um, lower fat snacks, um, baked instead of fried snacks, um, those are all good strategies. Trying to add fruits and vegetables as um, snacks between meals can add th those into your diet while also reducing the um, consumption of other less healthy snacks. Um, and then the final one would be minimizing soda or sugar, sugary drink consumption. So um, people are increasingly aware now of the importance of minimizing um, how much soft drinks they consume and um, just cutting back is a key strategy. So again, um, moderation and consistency over time are really important and each of these strategies has, um, can have a big impact when you combine them all together. So the reading nutrition labels is one skill you can use to um, make better choices when you're considering two foods. Um, so we'll examine the label in, in some detail here. This is a, a general concept of a label. The food labels change dynamically with, with new laws and regulations and actually they're undergoing change right now to further um, educate consumers about um, how to make healthier choices. But the key points in the panel will be the same. Um, so the USDA recommends you know you focus on three things when you're looking at a food label and you'll, you'll see how they're organized in, in the label from top to bottom. So size up your servings and calories. Make sure you're aware of what a serving is and how much, uh, what the calorie content of that serving is. Um, also see what's in it for you. Look at the vitamins, the minerals, the fiber. Um, look at the, the overall quality of the food you're eating, not just the total calories. And then judge if it's right for you based on you know, whether it's gonna fit into your lifestyle or whether you think that's a good choice. So again, reading a, learning to read a nutrition label is a key step. So we're gonna go through a couple examples of of food choices that either are the less desirable or a more desirable choice, and you can get a quick sense of, of how the, the food uh, quality shows up on a food label. So these are just a couple examples of, um, say, whole grain bread on one side versus white bread on the other. They may have similar calorie content, but whole grain bread is gonna have um, a lot more vitamins, minerals, and fiber than white bread. It is less processed and is probably a better choice. Many people find it hard to get used to a whole grain bread, but after over time, many people find that they prefer it and that the whole grain bread um, is more satisfying and, and fills them up better than um, white processed bread. Another example would be orange juice, so 100% orange juice um, versus sweetened orange juice or sugar water. Um, again, the calorie content may be the same, and many people might say, well, it's still sugar, but um, real fruit or 100% fruit juice is made up of fructose, and that is processed by your body very differently than glucose. So even though they're both sugars, they are processed differently by, by the body metabolically. Um, and whole uh, fruit juices also have vitamins and minerals and fiber that are not found in, in sugary drinks or sugar-sweetened uh, sugar juices.